I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and this amazing, good-looking piano uh, just barely came out of the shop, and I'm really, really excited. In fact, I'm so excited about this one because it turned out so, so beautiful that uh, that I wanted to put it right here in the in the um, front. Um, so when people walk in those front doors right there, this is what they see um, because it's it's amazing. So this. Uh, this piano, 1885 original, it's a Kanabi, and Kanabi is one of the one of the kind of upper end uh, piano names from 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 this time. They they actually predate Steinway. Everybody knows the the uh, um, the Steinway piano. Everybody's heard of that. But Kanabi actually goes back further, um, and and they had some quite a few patents, including the the uh, full perimeter plate. That was that was originally a Kanabi innovation. And uh, yeah, they they were well known as one of the high end pianos of their of their day. So it was it was really fun to, to restore this and watch it come together. I'll play it for you in a second, and, and you'll hear how good this this piano sounds. Okay, so let's talk about the cosmetics real quick, and before we get to the what we did on the guts. So this is rosewood, which uh, I believe this particular species of rosewood is now. Um, is now endangered, so so it's you you can't you can't put this type of rosewood on on uh, on pianos or really any piece of furniture at all anymore. And you can see why it was over it was over harvested because it's just so beautiful. Um, I was every every day that, that this was being refinished. I was just like more and more in awe of the beauty that was coming out of this piano. So, like, wow, just beautiful. And a, and a totally ornate music desk, of course, and, and other ornate flourishes like the legs and the, and the arms here. And this big, beautiful, this is, of course, a replica deco that was there originally. And lots of, lots of kind of flourishes. Some, sometimes when we rebuild a piano, we uh, we refinish the plate so that so that the plate is is brand new and fresh. But on on some of them, like this one, where it has all of these this ornamentation, we decided to leave it original, just to clean it. Of course, we cleaned it very thoroughly. But because of all of these, uh, I don't know what you could these flourishes that are that are hand painted on. I've seen I've seen pictures from from the era from this era when when of the uh, of the factory and and these there are all of these usually they're women it's the men that are doing like the uh, the action work and the restringing and it's always in these old old timey pictures it's always it's always these the, these big burly men making these dainty these women look very dainty painting on all of this scroll work and so we didn't want to. Um, destroy that by by refinishing it so that is kind of a cool relic from from this era and then uh, we, we redid the keys all new strings new of course here, I'll pull this out of course all new tuning pins and you can see all of these new a graphs and the dampers those are all replaced you can see the uh, all the hammers in there all of those have been replaced and there's felt and leather and cloth and everything throughout all of which has been has been replaced so this piano sounds surprisingly incredible actually no i shouldn't say surprisingly i knew it was going to sound amazing but it but it definitely exceeded my expectations sensitive and I can
has great power also. I guess that's partly a um, product of its size. Being seven foot four, that's the same size as like a Yamaha C7 or a Mason Hamlin Double B. They're, they're approximately um, in, the, in the kind of lower to mid seven foot range. So uh, play that's powerful. Come in the store, you will see coming through these doors, and bam, let's get let's get a final shot of that. That's this is one of the um, one of the pianos that I'm just most proud of that we've done. We do a lot, a lot of restorations. This one's incredible. Thanks for watching. <laughs>